Okay, good morning everybody. This is Bill Bostick with the Gazette Morning Update for April, I believe it is the 6th, 2018. And today's broadcast is coming from St. Thomas Roasters Coffee House in the heart of the historic village of Lingolstown. Uh, today's newscast, as usual, is being brought to you by the Consolidated Insurance Services, 6109 Jonestown Road over in Paxtonia. Uh, in fact, just met briefly with David Jones, the uh, head of the agency, who uh, passed along his sponsorship money for uh, April. So appreciate that. And um, one thing about David, he called me out, out of the blue. Uh, it was like late summer, early fall, and offered his support of uh, Lingle Sound Gazette. At the time, we were doing daily um, weather reports under the uh, banner of Coons Pool Weather. So, uh, again, I'd like to thank Consolidated Insurance Services for all their support. And today, I did, in fact, start the countdown clock. A 15-minute show is what we try and shoot for. Sometimes we go over, sometimes we're under. Mostly, we're over. Uh, also supporting the show today is Pennsylvania House Legislative District. And it's 105th, 105, 105th Legislative District candidates Democrat Eric Epstein and Republican Adam Klein. And there are links on Lingolstown Gazette's website. And of course, in the show notes, we'll have links to their websites or Facebook page. So I'd like to thank those two men for supporting the Gazette as well. I came over here sort of in a rush because I, I am not paid to do the, the Gazette morning update. Uh, not at this point, anyways. Uh, Lingolstown Gazette is a true non-profit, <laughs> really non-profit. So, uh, but I do have a paid job, and in the in the rush to get over here, I forgot my show notes. And uh, George Kunkel is checking in. He's sitting right beside me over here at the. Uh, he's he's watching this broadcast live from the coffee house. Uh, I forgot my show notes, so I'm going to have to do this on the fly. I pretty much know what I was going to do, though. Um, and let's just move into our weather report for the day. Just a quick, quick weather report, concert, concert, yeah, courtesy of weatherunderground.com. And, of course, Anthony Cristillo, the Fat Man Clothing Company, brings you the weather report for today. It's uh, 34 degrees in the village of uh, Lingolstown. And what are we looking at here, Anthony? What's the report? What, let me get down to the report. I don't know what it is. It's 12 a little, to 15 inches of snow. 12 to 15 inches of snow. 12 to 15 inches of snow. <laughs> Major blizzard. <laughs> it's a little wet out there. What are, we, are we supposed to get snow this weekend? What's it matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. What's it matter? That's Summer the end. will be here before you know it. And I'll tell you what else is going to be here before you What's know that? it. What's that? May 15th primary. May 15th primary. Yes, I just you mentioned. get out there and vote for Adam Klein. For our state rep, okay, and Paul Mango for governor. Those are your two choices. Okay, the two best choices. Two best choices. Adam Klein's doing a fine job out there knocking doors. <laughs> He's going to be a great state. An rep. Anthony's putting my nonprofit status in jeopardy here. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know what you need to know. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mango is mixing it up these days with... Paul's uh, doing a fantastic job. He's just uh, letting everybody know the truth. Okay. Now, how you been doing? Fantastic. I see you online. You're out and about. I mean, you're, about. you're a man about town. I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep doing your thing. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Thanks and for stopping by. May 15th. May 15th. And next Monday night, there's a tea party event over at New Love in Christ Church uh, between Adam Klein and the uh, other guy that's uh, well, against him. Yeah, also, the April 18th, there's a candidate's night. Yes, at here. Town uh, Fire Hall. And one, one on a serious note, what, uh, not that you weren't serious. I'm but, always serious. Do you know when the last day for someone to register to vote is? Yeah, I don't. I, or is it already passed? No, no. I, I believe it's uh, next week or. Want we'll to check I, I into that? Exact day. Want we'll to check into that. that? All I know is who to vote for. <laughs> and Paul Mango. Those two things I do know. This has been quite the weather report, yeah. Anthony. Thank you. All right. See you. Anthony Cristillo, the Fat Man Clothing Company, checking in live today from St. Thomas Roasters.
So, what, 30 days. So, okay, we're all, we have about a week to go. Thank you, George. About a week to go. So if you're not registered to vote, you have just a handful of days. All you have to do is go to the Dauphin County website, and they have a section there that's devoted to elections, and you can just walk right through that process. Or... If you don't, if you don't want to do that, check with Representative Ron Marsico. You know, Ron's retiring, and we need to keep him busy during the final days of his term, right? So, one way or the other, please, please, please go out and get registered to vote. And uh, I'm actually, let me just put the, let me just see. I'm just curious what the weather is supposed to be here. What I'm looking at wasn't giving me what I wanted. Um, okay, it's supposed to be much warmer. Much warmer today than yesterday, apparently. Um, here we go. Uh, some morning showers, and then this afternoon, a high of 61, folks. Tonight, a 20% chance of uh, showers, a low of only 36. And then tomorrow looks to be a cloudy but no precipitation day, high of 44. So that's your weather report. And then on the sporting scene... On well, local sports, of course, we follow the Central Dolphin Rams. Um, I mean, hopefully down the road we'll be able to do the Central Dolphin East Panthers uh, with, with better funding and more staff. However, uh, we're not there yet. Le- yesterday on the playing fields, um, two, two games to report on. The Central Dolphin Rams uh, did lose their game to um, the Cedar Cliff Colts. It was something 14 to 2 or 4. Pretty convincing win by the uh, the Colts. They, they, had, they rang up nine runs in the first inning to take command of that game. And then on the cross, uh, have a, a better report. The uh, Central Dolphin Boys Rams lacrosse team defeated uh, Lower Dolphin Falcons at Landis Field. Something like 9-8, nine, 9-7. So uh, the, the, the lacrosse team has gone off to a 2-2 two and two start in the conference. So that's your sports report. Um, so, yeah, the, the, I, I build this show. We'll move into our featured section here. I build this show, um, re- hit the reset button. And uh, what I'm referring to is, is this. Uh, this has to do with Lingostown Gazette. This has to do with our community. Um, you know, I, I started Lingostown Gazette in 2006, and in 2014, shut it down early in the year and never expected to be back into it again after two failures. Um, but things conspired last year. We're back at it better than ever, mainly for two reasons. One, the, you know, Penn Live, our, our primary news provider in the area, has changed their approach. Uh, they no longer put an emphasis on community news. Now, I am working with them on some government news, some things of major note, but many of the things they do not want to put on Penn Live because they're, they're, their business model has changed. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it's changed. So it's created a niche or a need for something like Lingolstown Gazette to come in and fill in the gaps when it comes to what's happening in our community. And again, we're almost, we're almost the same size or bigger, really, than the city of Harrisburg in terms of how many people live in Lower Paxton Township. You know, we're right around 50,000 people, right around the same number as the city of Harrisburg. We need a news source. And right now, Lingostown Gazette is really the only show in town, uh, even though we're not even up to st- full strength. We're not doing it on a full-time basis. It's the best thing you have. Um, so we're back into it. Uh, it's, about a minute, it's been about a year now since I started. The other thing that's helped out, we have Joe Gilloway doing sports. We have a mystery lifestyle writer. We have a young lady coming on board, uh, a college student who's going to do some writing. And we have a, some sponsors that have joined up. So things are moving in the right direction. But it's been a year, and I've been at it a year, you know, double-timing it between a full-time job, a family, Lingolstown Gazette, and other things as well. So... Uh, I'm getting to the point here where um, you know, I'm, it's just some basic fatigue is starting to set in. I'm, I'm, I generally, I mean, it's health-wise, I'm doing fine, but I know I can't keep at this pace. So that's why the reset button has to be hit. And uh, just to let you know, it, it, I mean, so there may be some times, maybe I can't do this morning show, you know, maybe the, the Facebook will not be so active. We'll, we'll just have to see how it shakes down. Um, but we have to make this transition uh, 
right now we we don't have the IRS nonprofit status, uh, the 501c3. It's in process. I did get a communication from the IRS that they need more information. I think ultimately it'll work. It'll, it'll work out. But getting that status is going to be the key to moving forward. So right now, even though we do have some sponsors, we are not paying the bills. There's you know so. Uh, we're having to find money elsewhere to actually pay for what you're seeing here. And what I'm going to do is link up our, it's called Patreon. It's, it's a spinoff of Patron. we got Patreon.com page for Linguistown Gazette. Right now we're bringing in about $100 a month through that Patron website. Um, you use a credit card or a debit card or whatever. You sign up for a monthly donation. Small, just tiny, tiny, tiny. You know, most people are giving five dollars a month, but you can give as little as one dollar a month. You know, some people are giving twenty dollars a month. It really depends. But right now, it amounts to a hundred dollars a month. I mean, I would really like to see if I could get enough support to at least pay the rent, which is two hundred dollars a month. So that means we have to get you know build it up another eighty, ninety dollars. Something like that to get to that point. And then even if we could get beyond that to support a, a student intern, I'd like to bring in a student intern, at least one, maybe two, and pay them a stipend for helping out with Linguistown Gazette. So in the show notes later today, you'll find a link to patreon.com. Just click that link. Very easy to become a patron. I know I don't have a lot of, I don't have any benefits or gifts or toys or you know, anything to give you at this point in time. I'm just asking for the hardcore Linguistown Gazette readers and viewers to consider helping out in this transitionary period until we get better funded. Once we get the 501c3, it shouldn't be a big deal. It really shouldn't be a big deal. At that point, we should be able to go out and over time build up some corporate support because this kind of uh, website, I think, is really the trend when it comes to local news hyper-local news, you know, right into your neighborhood where the major news carriers aren't able to do that anymore because their business model doesn't support it. But a non-profit community website can make the day. And actually, this is to tell you the truth, my goal is if we can find a formula that works here in Lower Paxton Township, Lingolstown, and Central Dolphin School District, uh, I'd like to be able to help other communities down the road do the same thing. So part of what I'm trying to do is find a formula that will work not only here but elsewhere. Because our country, folks, are getting a little patriotic here. Our country is founded on the idea that we need a strong fourth estate. In other words, the press, media, you know, watchdogging, keeping track of our, our government, letting you know what's happening so you're informed. Because you can't make all the meetings, but hopefully you have a news media outlet that can help you do that. Good morning, Eileen. Eileen, we have the Kunkels. Yeah. Can you have to come over here a little bit? Yeah, let me get you up here. We have a little guest here. Look, see your picture? See her in the camera here? Right here. Can you wave? Well, what is her name? Indy. Izzy. 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 Oh, Izzy. Thank you, Izzy, for stopping by. Say thanks for having us. Thanks for the snow. Give us a weather report. You never know what's going to happen whenever you have folks here at uh, Lingostown. We have two guests now, Izzy and the fat man. How about that? I, I, I prefer Izzy. Yeah, Izzy, yeah. Definitely. We want Izzy on here. Um, so... I guess the, what was I, what, one other thing I was going to say. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing that I'm attempting to do. Good morning, Eileen. The, the other thing I'm attempting to do, and I've talked about this a little bit, is that when you have a platform like this, you can, you know, you, you, can, you can take an editorial position and try and push things along. And without getting into the details, I'm a big homer when it comes to the village of Linglestown. I really, really believe it can be a destination spot, at least locally. You know, attract some people from the West Shore, maybe, uh, and uh, regionally, if we get the right mix of stuff in here. And also, and this is really near and dear to my heart, I really think Linglestown can become an enclave for younger adults who are looking for small spaces to live that aren't overly expensive. Um, you know, we don't have that here. I mean, right now, I can tell you, because I'm getting involved in real estate investing, that it's hard to find any kind of rental under $800 a month. And if you can find something at $800 a month, 
before utilities. That doesn't even include utilities. You're doing a wonderful job. And most things are four figures, the rent a place here in, Lingle, in the lower Paxton Township. So with that, we'll shut the show down for the week. We'll see you on Monday. Again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Consolidated Insurance Services over in Paxtonia um, for their support. Just got the, got the sponsorship check this morning. And also like to thank uh, Pennsylvania House candidates Eric Epstein, the Democrat Epstein, and the Republican Adam Klein. Klein. Okay, so we'll see you on Monday. Thanks for stopping by. Bill Bostic signing off for now. Bye.